Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Dog. if you can. Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the stone, let's get some treasure. Treasure! for treasure. This cupboard is bare. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind.
actually would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. Wow, well, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought weirder storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Hey, it's a cake! Man, this reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut, and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Huh, a pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate it. Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. Here. 
I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Whoa! Whoa. Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah! Losers! Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking! So what are you, Ocelot, doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Or he's a whiny dingus. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Just something to think about. No matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 
Yep, yeah. New Order of the Stone is back in town. to be back. We've been on this wild, epic adventure full of monsters, hidden temples, treasure. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Ah! You guys are awesome. Welcome back. See that? Jesse high-fived me. Me. It actually hurt a little bit. Happy to see a scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles while still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault. Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house, and also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more! <laughs> you're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, we made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person, but there have to be rules. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Ah, it's a slippery slope, Jesse. Today, the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no. I'm all out. <sighs> okay. We better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Sounds good. I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you! It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you, too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? Really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and 
Just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning, I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. Look, I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, that's what I used to say too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! No! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Wow, so that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What a beautiful sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse! Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Well, what are we waiting for, then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off. Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! Love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor.
You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, sir. Uh, once we find it, that is. We missed some sort of secret area here last night. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. Huh, doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Barely got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. Well, that wasn't there last night. promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Well, that seems promising. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause! 
We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. You guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. I'm liking you better by the minute, Louie. That, right there. Big floating island on the horizon. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that sooner. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? This is in memory of my lava house. Long live lava! Your building. I, you, I, I, I don't... Okay, let's cut to the chase. You seen a bunch of punks in matching outfits? blaze rods on the back? I'm... I'm... I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't talk to you. Why? Y you, 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 you were building. A unauthorized building is against the law. Wait. There's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This... this makes no sense. No sense I, at all. I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? That's nuts. Building's pretty important. Everyone should be allowed to do it. I, um... Right? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Oh, uh, this is making me terribly nervous, but uh, first those other outsiders, now you... Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry! And he's gone. Ah, <sighs> darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. Wow. Incredible. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Clearly, the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you!
Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. And where should I put them? Yes, just give them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at. Like simply minding their own business next to a wall. What, uh, what was that all about with the whispering and the sticks? Ah, shh. I don't know what you're talking about. None of that here. It's uh, not stick allowance day after all. So why would I, a, a humble innkeeper, have sticks? <laughs> Seriously, just put all of that out of your mind. It's, it's not important. It was just friends exchanging pleasantries. <laughs> Nothing more to see there. <laughs> wow, dude, could you be more suspicious? Come again? You're just giving off a real shady vibe. And the more you protest... The shadier you seem. Just saying. Well, if I wanted your opinion on my shadiness, I would have asked for it. As I didn't, please throw your shade elsewhere. Was there something you needed? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. I heard you talk to the blaze rods earlier. What did they want? Hmm. Hmm. Blaze rods. Hmm. I... I don't know any blaze rods. You must have been misled. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet. Is he hiding them somewhere? You sure keep saying I don't know anything a lot. Don't lie to me, Milo. That's how bad things happen. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone... That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps! Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, you've got to be kidding what are me. You? Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! The builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. Well, how could we have known about that? We just got here. 
Lucas, shut it! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. To get to that Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! <gasps> Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! This is... Hey, don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the Builders! Huh. Will you see it my way? Okay, Jason. Hey! Hands off the roads. Guards, bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you, I promise. I hope you know what you're doing. Let go of me, this instant! Excuse me, excuse me. Come with me. We meet at last. <laughs> Hello there, Founder. I'm Jesse. So I gathered. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. service to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That my card she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze Rods! This plan is crazy, Aiden. You're never gonna pull it off. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, Jesse. And you're going to get what's coming to you. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. Founder, ma'am, you've got to believe me. I'm not the bad guy here. Aiden's the one you should be worried about. Oh, really? Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, 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 you got it all wrong. The, the Blaze Rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. 
Resources, every kind, are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> people act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. I'm so tired of people being so cryptic about this thing. Just tell me what it is. It is my burden, my curse. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. See, to me, that just sounds like a big, fat excuse. I think you're just hoarding all the power for yourself. You would know a little something about hoarding power, wouldn't you? I think I've heard quite enough. Uh. Ow! I now see that Aiden was right, and that you're nothing more than a common thief here to take the Eversource and destroy our community. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I sentence you and your companions to be imprisoned <clears throat> indefinitely. What?! Reginald, remove these criminals from my sight. Yes, ma'am. What? <sighs> what? That's not fair. You can't lock us up. I believe you'll find that I can. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. Really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's fine. It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. You can't believe a thing Aiden says. He's a liar. He said that you'd say that. I suppose that's probably what a liar would say. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the blaze rods beef up security. Can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, I promise I'm not lying. You can believe me. Really? Kind of seems like a your word versus their situation. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. 
And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, captain of the guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. Okay, maybe you don't like me very much, but tell me this. Who do you not like more, me or Aiden? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. How long would you say something like that would take you on average? Probably about as long as it would take someone to get from here into the throne room. Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Nice work! Now, on to the episodes. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? I'm actually starting to have my doubts about taking the Eversource. These people really seem to depend on it. What? So you'd rather just hand it over to the blaze rods? It would be one thing if we were plundering a temple, but this... This is starting to feel like stealing. Ivor's right. The blaze rods have got to be stopped. Throne room was back this way. Here we are, back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Watch out! Ugh. Hey! Wait, stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas. Jesse, I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me. Ah, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. Petra, what in the world are you doing here? We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. This is all very nice and very sweet, but who the heck are you? I promise you guys can trust him. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's gotta be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Lava and water. 
placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius! See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, me too. Definitely regal, not bad. This is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Ingenious. sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches.
Here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all... Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs. The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is that a monster? That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So this must be where the resources come from. Different monsters and creatures, different drops. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Source is a chicken? What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Hey, I'm with you, Ivor. Let's grab it and get out of here. Aha! Adventure! Dude, seriously? I knew it! I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Hey, get your- <laughs> Says the trespassing criminal. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself! And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Creeper, look out! Ah! I've got Aiden! Save the foul of you! Got me, Lucas! Gotcha! Thank you. Thank you. Lucas!
You're down here too? Lucas, you made it. Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Got me pretty good. Just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> ah, that was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> mm. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Yeah, I think people will be pretty upset when they learn that this was down here the whole time. Hey, take it easy. She's having a rough enough day as it is. No, no. That's okay. I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope. And I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> first things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Sounds like the start of a winning plan to me. Getting back up. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. not a good sign. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. 
grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Just, wow, what are the odds? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. It got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Aiden has taken over the palace. 
He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any posts of invisibility? Here! Stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next! Aiden, you've lost. I saw you fall. You went down. You're alive. You're alive. He's the founder with you. I heard. Ah! What the? Reginald. Not one more step. I killed you once. I can do it again. Just you and me, Aiden. Just you and me now. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, look around you. It's over. Give up. No! You don't get to tell me that! do with him please this place is getting worse by the minute you can't just leave me here take me with you after everything you've done I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy no 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 come on you can't just leave me behind 
If you leave me here, I'll die! I thought you were the good guys! Caden, we heard the fighting. We fought and fell down one of these waterfalls. You retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together. Jesse, there you are. Jesse. The situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. The void won't kill you. There's land down there. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? the truth. I saw the land as well. In fact, I will prove it to you. Ah! Wait for me! you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. <sighs> I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the Blaze Rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry. Got a little carried away there. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky! 
It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Milo, come on. The founder's trying to help. It's true. Help herself right back into her own throne, more like. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Try and play nice with Milo, okay? I know he's a little crazy and you don't always get along, but he really does care about the people. Yes, I'm starting to see that, and I will do my best. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh, just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor, it could be fun. Now you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually going to have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? The sides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's head home. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs>